Yeah, I'm sure about. Okay, so we're ready now again. All right. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion. questions using be going to hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer wh questions using be going to additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation title have a good Valentine's Day so Tyler are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb, get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end, there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So you see these are the WH question words. And okay. Okay, for example, we can use when are when are you going to yeah, let's say uh stop smoking okay that's a question right in case you will smoke Okay, and they say, hey, when are you going to stop smoking? Bad for your health. 
Okay, I'm using when. Okay, and I am using to there. Okay, stop and stop. Now, what is another question that you can ask? Now, I want you to uh, practice the, let's practice the, um, the structure. Sorry. Okay, let's practice the structure and different there and using WH questions. What is another WH question that we could use? This is, for example, how many books are you going to read this uh, semester? Okay. Oops. Okay. How many books are you going to read this semester? Another question? Okay, now you can help me. When are you going to have vacation? When? Yes. Are you going to have Like okay. Yes, if you see always, you know, we have, oh my God, I don't know what is happening. Okay, when are you going? So we have the structure, when are you going to have a, the birthday, the birthday, the subject you going to, and then the company, right? Okay, let's see. All right, so this one's better to, to write. Okay, what else? Give me another example, please. Think about how, well, well I, I'll help you with this one. We can use how. Um, what else can we use? How, okay, how, how much, how many, how many, um, what's what, what, how with the microphone, how long, uh, when, uh, why, who? Um, who's? Uh, where? Okay. Remember, I'm giving you extra information, right? That's something that is not in the in the platform, but it's related to the topic. Okay. Then you can just remember this: how. Then you can use here, are you going to, okay? Como vas a, ah, como vas a que in this case? How are you going to pay that house? Como vas a pagar esa casa? It's too big, too expensive. Okay, that would be a question. Another question with how. Mm 
How are you going to? How are you going to study? With with that noise. Okay. ¿Cómo vas a estudiar con ese ruido? Eh, cuando, bueno, cuando vemos a un adolescente así, gran musicón, right? Rock and roll and standing say, how are you going to study with that noise? How are you going to study with that music? How are you going to concentrate? Okay. Um, remember that this one, how are you going to? Es la base and it's the same, right? Then lo que cambiamos is this. Okay. Gabi, one, I don't know. We have uh, a. <laughs> Hazel, come on, try. Okay, diga mi verbo. Where? Okay, which one? Un verbo. Where? 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 How are you going to wear? Mm, for Christmas. Or... Okay. Okay. For the party. Okay, that could be one, right? Good. Let's see how much probably sounds easier for you. How much? Remember that when you say how, you can also use what are you going to wear, right? What are you going to, how, oh, what? We don't have what here. Okay, what are you going to wear to the party? Okay. How much? How much are you going to? Quanto? Spend. Okay. For the shoes. How much are you going to spend? For the shoes. Okay. And see, we are using different words, right? Study. We have where. And we also have spent. Okay. Anything else? How many? How many children? Are you going to have? Okay. How many? How many children are you going to have when you get married? Okay, you can say one, two, three, four, depends, right? Okay, this is cuanto. Okay. And then we have. Quantos, right? Quantos. Singular and plural. How long? What is how long? Cuánto tiempo es, teacher? Exactly. Very good. How long? 
Okay, cuánto tiempo le va a tomar, right? How long are you going to be there? Cuánto tiempo va a estar ahí? Okay. How long are you going to uh, to sleep? Cuánto tiempo va a dormir? How long are you going to sleep? How long are you going to uh, travel? travel? Uh -huh. How long are you going to read? Okay, this is fun too. Then we have when? Yes? Cuando, right? Why? Por qué? Por qué? Okay. Why are you going to do that? Por qué va a ser esto? Okay, why are you going to do that? Who? Quien. Quien. Quien, right? Who's? Quien es. Eh, possessive. No. Tiene que ver con lo posesivo. ¿Cuántos? Mm, ¿Cuáles? No, for example, if you want to say... Eh... Pues, los libros los, no, libros, ¿de los libros de quién ¿De, Ajá. Yes, ¿De, de quién? quién exactly right whose uh, let's say whose car are you going to drive ok el carro de quién va a manejar whose car Oops. A uh, whose car? Okay. Uh, you going to drive? Okay. Where? Where? Uh -huh. Donde? Uh -huh. Donde Where are you going? Donde se va a quedar? Where are you going to stay? Where are you going to travel? Okay. Where are you going to sleep? Where are you going to sleep? Mm -hmm. Where are you going to work? Okay. So you see, this is the structure is the same. It's just uh, sometimes what we need definitely is the the vocabulary, right? It's important to to have vocabulary. Uh, in this case, verbs are very important. Okay, there, and for example, the, the complement, right? Because if you see the, the structure, how are you going to, what are you going to, you can, if it is a uh, tercera persona, you can say, what is he going to do? How much is he going, for example, how much is he going to spend for the shoes? How much is he going to spend on those shoes? For example, uh, they say that, Women like to spend money on shoes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? How how many pairs of shoes do you have? Uh, Gabriela, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Repeat me, please. How many pairs? of shoes do you have? One, two, three, 10, 15, 20. Two? Two pairs. Dos pares. ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos tiene? How many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, Hasta risa le dan, ni se acuerdan. Uh, uh -huh. Five. Five, no, I don't think so. Adelaida? Fifteen. <laughs> How many? Fifteen. Fifteen, okay, good. Y así, si, si empezamos a contar, a dar cuenta, a ver, una, una cantidad increíble de zapatos acá, right? Yes, but uh, it's, it's logical, right? Women have more combinations. You need to different colors. Okay, so then that's why it is necessary. And, and then that's why how many, for example, how many pairs of shoes are you going to buy? Okay, 
And then you can use okay, how many pairs of shoes are you going to buy? Okie dokie. Good. So then these are questions using the a going to and WH questions. Now let's see if there is an exercise here. Uh, I don't know if you have questions. Tiene alguien preguntas de los knowledge checks o de la plataforma before, antes de continuar con el knowledge check? No? Okay. Then uh, we're going to do the knowledge check to see the, the exercise about going to. And then we check our answers. For example, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example, okay? So in this case, who are you? If you see here, going, going to, to invite, right? It is important. Uh, sometimes, recuerden que aquí los espacios. Uh, what else? The commas or capital letters. Detallitos a veces que se les toma como mal la plataforma. Hay que tener los cuidados. And, and also the instructions, the instructions, right? Here it says, complete the conversation with the correct form of equal in two. Okay, here are you going to. What is the number one here? Time. I'm going to ask. Okay. I'm going to ask. Then you say, I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Then you can see uh, conversation one is who my parents. They say, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? My parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Who are you going to invite to Thanksgiving dinner? Say, I'm going to ask my family and some good friends. Okay, what about the conversation two? What are you? Do going for to... Halloween. Okay. Going to do for Halloween. Going to do, yes, remember that. Going to do. So we're missing going to. What do we have to write only? Going to. Going to. Going to only, okay? No going to do. Because do, oh, well, going to do because it's in parentheses, yes. Okay, going to do. So we include the parentheses in the exercise. Porque a veces si no se incluye, sale mal a la respuesta, aunque se esté pensándose bien. Okay, uh, I don't know. What would be the negative form here? I, I'm, I'm not, not going, going to do. Okay, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do anything special. Okay, what about conversation three? Going to celebrate. Okay, how are your parents going to celebrate? Okay. And then it says there, go to their neighbor's party. Going, going to, go. to go. Going to go, that's correct. Okay, going to go to the neighbor's party. And in the conversation four, we have, what is your sister going to do? Going to do? Going to do for her birthday. Yes. The last one? Going to, going to take. take. Yes, you're going missing. to take. Her boyfriend? Going her boyfriend to going to take. There is some, you're missing something. Hay algo que falta ahí. Her. 
her, boy. her boyfriend going to take her out uh, to dinner. There is one one little thing. takes. Eh, no, that one remember siempre se usa la forma base the, la forma del base form. Mm. Vean el verbo que han estado usando acá. Go, her boyfriend te... going to talk. Look at took. the question. Look at the question. Took. Took. Look at the question. Do. No. Read the question. Her letter. boyfriend. No, the, the going to take. Do look at the question. They say, What is your sister? What is your sister going to do for her birthday? Okay, and then he says, Talk, her boyfriend, her boyfriend going to. Yes, hay una palabra de dos letras que les hace falta. Is okay. Who said is Hazel? Is going. Okay. Yes. Her boyfriend is going, going to. Remember that when we use going to, we always have a form of verb to be. Is. Uh huh. Okay. So we say is are. Okay. Here, what is your sister going to do? For he, she, it. We're going to use is. Okay. What is what is your dog? Sure. Uh -huh. Pero a mí me la puso correcta sin el is. Sin el is. Es que eso, ajá, eso es lo que les digo. Pero eso, eh, por eso es bueno que lo, y, y gracias por decírmelo porque eh, no está correcto. Ok, a veces ahí pueden haber errorcitos. O sea, acuérdense que es, eh, let's see. Aquí está, mira. ¿eh? Aquí están las posibles respuestas que pueden poner y se las va a tomar como buenas. We're going to take her boyfriend. Pero eh, esto sucede a veces porque alguien omite eh, escribir. Entonces el que, es como el Google Forms. Uno pone a veces un examen y tiene que pensar en todas las posibles respuestas que un alumno puede dar. Entonces, yo, eh, si digo yo por lo menos, va, so going to take. Eh, se le olvidó el verbo, después se lo puede explicar. Entonces, muchas veces por eso dejan como aceptables estas respuestas, pero lo correcto, correcto es, is going to take, siempre, ¿ok? Eh, entonces, por eso es que la, por eso que la tomo bueno, ¿ok? So, no problem. Uh, here you have going to, going to do, going to do. Eh, going to go, going to go, porque en todas ya está el R. Going to celebrate, going to celebrate. All the possible answers. Okay, questions? Oh, let's check. There you have, all right? 33 is going to take. Veamos qué pasa si le quito el is. Ok, la toma como bien, right? Pero, let's see here. En el caso se si le el R, you will see that it takes it wrong, ok? Because R is already here. Or sometimes, they need, sometimes also the spaces. Okay, aquí le di un espacio de más y también ese espacio me lo, me lo toma como malo, right? So, okay, we have to pay attention to those details. Okay, questions? Right. Okay, now we're going to see this one. Uh, let me see, Hazel, could you please read? 
the objective here. Hazel essential. Okay. Somebody in the chat. Ah, okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. Good, uh, Jorge. Could you please read the objective? By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary, vocabulary for discussing how the to celebrate a special location. Very good, excellent, okay. So then now we have more vocabulary, right? Vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate uh, special occasions. Let's see. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day. Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. My daughter's Okay, so these are, you know, different things that we do for different types or kinds of celebrations, right? Uh, send cards. When do we send cards? Look at the, look at the two, four, five columns. We have Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, and anniversary. In which of these occasions or celebrations do we send Cards. Mother's Day. Hey everyone. For all of them, right? For all of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the the the, tra the all um, let's say all at school, right? La vieja escuela, right? Because nowadays. Uh, Mother's Day, uh, people prefer a dinner or a nice present, or sometimes, uh, in some cases, give the cash to the mother so that she can buy her own things. Uh, Father's Day, uh, usually uh, some food, right? Uh, or a celebration in the house, a cake. Okay, when do we give presents? In all the occasions too, right? In all the situations. Uh, take pictures. When do we take pictures? In all situations, I think. In all, in high, yes, in all the celebrations, in all the situations too. And sing songs. Um, or um, especially in the wedding. Especially in the in wedding. The wedding. Yes. Anniversary. An anniversary. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Yes, Mother's Day. Yes. Um, 
Father's Day, not too much, but graduations, graduations, no, right? Probably the, 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 the people who are graduating, maybe, right? But not everybody. Dance. We. In the wedding. Um, wedding. Graduation. In the wedding. Graduation. Graduation. Anniversary. And depending on the celebration of the anniversary, yes, also, right? Yes. Uh, eat cake. Um, eat wedding. Mother Day. Mother's Day. Wedding. wedding. Mother Day. Anniversary. anniversary. Wedding. Birthday. Yes. In some cases, some graduations too, in the party, right? The graduation party, oh, party. but not the graduation itself. Uh, have a party. In which cases do we have a party, but a real party? Graduation. 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 Wedding. 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 And wedding, right? Those wedding. are wedding. the parties. Anniversaries are celebrations, probably little, uh, we can call the party, but with, with the family. But graduation is usually a big party in wedding. Uh, have a picnic. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father's Day. A wedding, a picnic. No. <laughs> no, not in that case. Uh, eat a special food. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Father Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Okay. Anniversary. Wedding. Anniversary. Wedding. Anniversary. 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 Graduation party sometimes is the same chicken, right? Chicken, chicken. <laughs> wedding, chicken, and chicken. In the wedding. Uh -huh. Yes, it's usually not very special, but it's a elaborated one, right? But Mother's Day, Father's Day, and anniversary, yes, because sometimes we go to a, a restaurant or special place. So sometimes that food is more special than the other. Uh, in which of these celebrations do we wear a special clothes? Wedding. Graduation. Wedding. 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 Anniversary. Anniversary. And the anniversary, right? Yeah, Father's Day is usually formal or nice and clean, right? Mother's Day too, but no so special clothes. Okay, so then questions about this vocabulary. Is the vocab are you familiar with the vocabulary? Yes. Okay. Remember that one of the important things here is vocabulary 100%, right? The vocabulary, you have to make sure you understand because you need it to speak. Okay, this is just uh, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article. Okay, reading skills. Yes, I'm ready to go. Okay. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. 
It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay. I don't know Family if, uh... ceremony. Relatives. Can you read uh, clearly? Se lo ven claro. Pueden leerlo. Más o menos, ¿verdad? Sí, porque está un Más poco... o menos. Más o menos. Eh, bueno, yo tomé una foto y una foto sí se lee mejor. Eh, se la voy a enviar al chat porque... Para que vean el vocabulario, si tienen preguntas, ¿ok? So you can have any... Where it is. Okay, there you go. Okay, now take a look at it and then I will read the first one again. It says, Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. It says, my 21st birthday, 21st birthday is on Saturday. And I'm going to go out with some friends, okay, to wish me a happy birthday. And I like to celebrate. They're going to wish me a happy birthday They are going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once. But my friends are very traditional. Okay? So you see, this is what, uh, what people do uh, for different... Uh, Uh, celebrations, right? As traditions and customs. For example, in El Salvador, uh, <laughs> it depends on the age, depending on the group. Okay, porque me acuerdo que en la escuela patadas me le daban a uno que to celebrate. ¿Cuántos años? Par kicks, you know, they kick you, right? And a couple of kicks, or they throw you up and down, right? La manteada, right? They throw you up and down. Uh, also, what else? Uh, it's like when they step on you, so it was more uh, ma macho, macho like uh, style, right? That was, uh, but, in, uh, but there are some other traditions, right? What are some other traditions that you know about birthday? ¿Qué otras tradiciones conocen acerca de los cumpleaños? My friend, this one, imagine, se jalan, se jalan el, la oreja 21 de, de acuerdo a los años, right? 21 times. Um, la que menos me gusta es de Philippe de Paris. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, porque él uh, va a invitar a comer. Uh -huh. He's out to diner uh, three friends. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly, right? So... Uh -huh. Aquí todos hacemos la cabuda para llevar al cumpleañero, pero allí a él le toca. Ah, okay, that's another one. We all, okay, very good, thank you. That's a tradition in Salvador, okay? We all fit in. Okay, uh, let's see. Fit. Let me write in the chat. Yes. Then it says pitching is como 
todos contribuimos, ¿verdad? Right? Hacer la tabula, we, we pitch in to pay. Okay, we pitch in to pay the, the birthday boy or the birthday girl dinner or food, okay? Or a present. Yes, but, huh? but uh, Philip is different, right? It's a different case. Uh, what about the Aokian kids? What is the tradition there? Say the 60th birthday is called? It's... Kaneki. Um, um, the, the color red um, mm -hmm. represents a new life. Exactly, right? To represent a thing red. Mm -hmm. um, Clothes, mm -hmm. real, y le van a, um, me cuesta, pero le van a regalar, they, dijo. They are going to give him, they are going to give him. Y pero le, le van a regalar. Ajá, uh -huh, they are going to o give sea, him. ropa roja, dijeron. Que lo, red me clothes. imagino que los nietos, <laughs> red exactly. clothes. Exacto, red clothes. They are going to give him red clothes. Ok, very good. Excelente. And what about the other guy? Uh, Ching Shi Taipei. This is Jen Ching. Jen Ching Shi. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for long life. Aquí los noodles es la maruchan, right? <laughs> no. Ok, para imagine para ellos es long life, larga vida. Ok, it's good. Ok, these are different traditions. Which one do you like? ¿Cuál le gusta más de todas? La de Yang Shi Yen Xing Shi de Taipei. Okay, de Taipei. The one oh. about food, right? Money. And the money <laughs> in the envelope. Yes, money. Because I like money. Uh -huh. Yes, it says money in, they call it lucky envelopes. Los sobres de la suerte, right? Lucky envelopes. So they put money in the, in the envelope for, as a present, as a gift. Ok, eh, preguntas acerca del vocabulario, alguna palabra, frase, expression. Una frase o palabra que les gustaría saber, que no, no haya quedado claro. No, todo. Todo bien, ok. Good. Then, uh, Ok, ¿qué podemos sacar de esta sesión acá? Es, por ejemplo, cómo podemos decir ciertas cosas. Por ejemplo, it says, look, my 21st birthday. You can say my 24th. Or you can say my birthday 23. My birthday 54. My birthday 60, okay, is on, is on sa, um, Saturday, 30, uh, January 31st, okay? Y ahí viene lo que voy a hacer. I'm going to, okay, you see, for example, my birthday is on June 24th, and I'm going to uh, go to the beach with my family and some friends. Okay, uh, to wish me a happy birthday, my, they are going to uh, throw me, I even let the push, the pull, ponemos throw, tirar, they are going to throw me to the swimming pool. Me van a lanzar a la, a la piscina, right? They are going to throw me to the swimming pool. And then, that's it. And then you can say, for example, what you are going to do. Then we are using going to, 
uh, talking about a celebration. Uh, they are talking here about birthdays. We can talk about graduations. For example, my daughter is going to graduate in November. Okay, November 27th. And uh, I am going to give her a special gift. And we are going to make a party, okay, with my, uh, with my uh, family and her friends, okay? So you see, uh, todo ese vocabulario ya lo manejan, lo que tenemos que hacer es a veces organizar las ideas, okay? Primero es la celebración, okay? Y quién? My daughter's graduation, my son's birthday, or my birthday, or my wedding anniversary, mi aniversario de bodas, okay? My wedding anniversary is in September, okay? Y ya después viene, I'm going to. Ya viene lo que voy a hacer, right? The plan. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to prepare a, uh, a nice party with my children for my wife uh, in the house. Okay, so celebration and the plan for that celebration. Okay, this is the uh, idea here, right? Using this vocabulary. My mother is going to cook noodles. No pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kandeki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. Okay, then um, I will go to France. Quiero Francia cuando alguien vaya a celebrar cumpleaños. Okay they can invite you. Sorry, thank you. Just gonna show you the last one. The last knowledge check. Okay, this is the article, then answer whether the questions here looks better. I think that now we can uh, answer the first question. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friend are going to pull her ear 21 times, true or false? True. True, true right? True. Yes. I think I'm gonna put a burrito, la pobre, right? Then, the next one. Jiang Cheng is going to cook some noodles on her birthday. True. True. False. 
False. Why false? false. Por qué false? Mm -hmm. Because mother is mm -hmm. going to cook. Mother is because, your mother. because her mother is going to cook. No. Oh, okay. It is false. Very good. On his birthday, Mr. Aoki is going to receive something red. True. 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 True, right? It's going to be a hat and a vest. True. Okay, that's good. And the one is Philip Jolly. And then it says, friends are going to take him out to dinner on his birthday. False. 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 Okay, for his false. Porque no invitan a los amigos. Ajá, porque él es going to invite, right? Él va a invitar. Yes, because he is going to invite. Okay, that's in France, he said, right? In France, it's like a tradition. That's the way they do it. Okay, so let's check, and then we have all of them correct. So we have false, true, true and also true. Ok, si se dan cuenta acá, hemos, se ha practicado la, la idea principal de cada párrafo. ¿verdad? Entonces, identificarla y decir si es verdadera o es falsa. Entonces, esa es una técnica de lectura de comprensión, right? Eh, hay otras que son para detalles, otras que son para leer entre líneas, que no está dicho, pero qué es lo que quiere decir. Ok, but in this moment, it was like that. La, la idea principal de cada uno de ellos, right? And then the tradition, some details. Okay. Then, uh, eh, llenen la, el, el, entonces, todos los ejercicios de la plataforma de esta sección. Y si van adelante, pues mejor. Eh, recuerden que el programa, si ustedes van avanzando, adelantando con la plataforma, no hay ningún problema. Ok, si tienen dudas, pues me lo hacen saber para poderles orientar un poco más. Eh, hoy había una pregunta ahí en el chat, pero este, yo también yo venía en camino. Entonces, cuando lo que voy a hacer es que para que, es, por lo menos, a, a veces también los que preguntan es alguien que no se ha conectado a clase o algo. Eh, pero para los que están acá, eh, si en el momento no les puedo contestar, yo voy a buscar un momento en la tarde entre las... Tres y las cinco, en buscar darles unas respuestas a las preguntas que hagan, ¿ok? Para que, para poderles auxiliar también por el chat de dudas que tengan sobre la plataforma o ejercicios. ¿Ok? Eh, ok. Questions, doubts. Tomorrow we begin, ok, tomorrow we begin unit uh, the session, section two. Ok, and next uh, week. We are going to cover also the section three. Okay, remember that eh, the first two weeks, las primeras dos semanas se cubren las secciones uno, dos y tres. Y las últimas dos semanas, la cuatro y la cinco, porque vamos a tener que terminar por lo menos el día antes del, del último, el penúltimo día, hay que ya tener también el, el examen final hecho para que podamos hacer una revisión el último día. Ya ustedes tengan su, su curso aprobado y todo eso. Ok. okay. Entonces, okay. Ma mañana es la última sesión de la semana. Ok. Entonces, es jueves. Entonces, para que tengan también tiempo, sa eh, viernes, sábado y domingo, para, para avanzar con la, con la plataforma en las unidades 2 y 3. Ok, people. Okay. So, have a very good night. Dream in English, remember. Okay, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.